Let me hear. Oh, hello, Pinchy Scree. How you doing? Good to see you. And you're a subscriber still. That's awesome. Okay, so, um, welcome to the inaugural King of Iron Camel Doom Tournament thing that has been set up by Dying Camel. The first one is this month. It's going to be very exciting, I'm sure. It's going to have lots of Iron Man related stuff happen. Oh, yes. So, what is the King of Iron Camel Doom Tournament? Well, you can find some uh, details in that link there. Uh, basically, the King of Iron Man uh, Iron Camel Doom Tournament number one, since there will be others each month, or at least a couple of months, it, it's basically going to be very similar to the, uh, the Doom World Iron Man League in its intention, but there are a few slight differences. So this month's wad to start with is um hey, it's been sick, is a wad called Dawn of the Dead. Eight or two. That's in the description anyway. So it's a Doom One Episode One replacement from the good old day of nineteen ninety seven. Eight levels required, we will not be playing the secret level. Okay, so I don't even have to hint for the secret level, just have to play normal. Okay. Uh, you are to stream your run sometime between June the 1st and June the 21st. So it's not all month. It's like a good chunk of the month, and then it's done. And post in Discord before you start your run, which I've already done just now. Asking Dan Cal for the Discord. So... If you want to participate in the tournament, just say hi in his Twitch chat. And that's one of the things about this one that's a bit different from the Iron Man League. The rules state that tournament runs must be streamed live on Twitch. That means all you demo recording scrubs are going to have to record your gameplay. So that's the bit of a difference there. It's not like with the Iron Man where he upset demo recordings on PR Boom or whatever. You have to stream it. And therefore, streamers are the ones that can apply for this tournament. So, you have to be a streamer, basically. Play on Ultraviolence. And a lot of the rest of this is pretty similar to the Iron Man League uh, that we're all familiar with. Uh, play on Ultraviolence, no free look, no jumping or ducking. Play continuous, no pistol starts. What is only eight levels, so with single stream, single segment, one attempt. Play till you die or win. Whoever survives the longest wins, or whoever completes the entire eight levels the fastest using the in-game timer. Practicing is discouraged since most will be playing this at least semi-blind. That's kind of another difference, so uh, it's being encouraged to play this blind. Set compatibility mode to Doom Strict in GZ Doom, or Comparable 3 in PR Boom. Display your compatibility settings before you begin your run. No other wads or mods are wired in conjunction with the chosen tournament wad. Several people have already done their runs. Uh, Kato Kane, Dubs, Dying Camel, and Ninja Kiwi. Uh, Dying Camel died on E1M3. Dubs died on the same map. Ninja Kiwi died on E1M2. And Kato Kane is the furthest so far, dying on E1M4. And all of them have video links to their run. And there's quite a few of us to come. I'm one of the people involved. There's also there's going to be... Some of you regulars are going to be involved, including Kata, Mr. Mina. Uh, and interestingly enough, uh, Alfonso is going to do a run as well. <laughs> so the Doom World Iron Man League uh, head honcho is going to run this alternative Iron Man. So that should be interesting. Right, Doom Strict. Okay. So that's the tournament. Now, what the hell is this wad? Well, this wad comes from the annals of the 15th of June, 1997, and is authored by Jan van der Weken, who at the time was a 22-year-old engineering student living in Belgium. Replacement for episode one, mainly military textile, still under construction. Ah, so I guess this never got finished then, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, there's a storyline to this as well. I don't know if you want me to read the storyline. Ah, sure, why not? So the storyline is, a couple of decades ago, simple life forms were discovered on the Jupiter moon Europa. Hello, Primevers, how's it going? Manned spaceships were sent out. The mission was to make the moon habitable for human beings by installing atmospheric processes powered by nuclear fission, a technique that was perfectioned in the late 21st century. The ultimate goal was to colonize the entire moon. Today, there are several human colonies on the moon. In total, there are about 20,000 civilians and 500 space marines on the moon. Hey, Kate, okay. Forty out to this one this morning for a demo. Not sure as one will count. Well, the rules state it has to be a stream. So, I suppose technically, if he wanted to, 40 ounce could stream the demo recording playback, and that would count, I guess. I guess that's one way to surpass that. <laughs> just record the demo anyway, and then just stream the demo recording playback. Boom. I'm pretty good, Primevus. Although, if you've seen my recent tweet, not a bit of a, a shock to the system last night when I came in from winning a poker. Anyway, on with the story. Recently, relics were found on the moon's surface that gave evidence of an ancient alien civilization with a technology far more advanced than ours. It appears that they'll even master the technology of teleportation. Scientists were sent out to examine the technology. It was euphoric when they actually got some teleporters to work. They even discovered the last element they were looking for to build their own stable teleporters, unlike the ones that caused the Deimos incident. A couple of weeks later, UAC supercomputers managed to decipher some manuscripts that were found. The manuscripts contained strange warnings. Nobody really understood what they meant, so they believed that the computer translation wasn't perfect yet and put the computers back to work. Only a couple of days later, strange things started happening on the moon base. The only thing we know for sure is that most of the human outposts have been overrun by an unknown enemy. Some are still offering resistance, but their situation is critical. Your job is to go in and give them hell. You've been there before. And that's your story. Oh yes. The story of this is uh, people don't learn from their mistakes and teleporters. Uh, always a threat. You know, what video game has had good teleportation and it come out positive, you know? It happened in Doom and all we got was demons. It happened in Half-Life and all we got were aliens. It happened in uh, quake and we had slip gates and shit so really teleportations in games even portal a game exclusively about a teleporting portal device is in itself contains a threatening robot well, that's, not, that's not really the same as teleporting is it so never mind that was a poor example team fortress 2 has good teleportation yeah upset but team fortress 2 also has other things and it's all the violence. It's also red and blue people can burn, shoot, stab, and trade hats with each other. You know? There's never been one single player game where teleportation is implied positive. As far as I'm aware, anyway. I'm sure you can think of examples. I was expect to see one in the YouTube comment. Well, this game it sounds positive teleportations. Alright, anyway, so that's the story. That's uh, This is the inaugural Iron Camel Watch. So, I guess I better display those compatibility settings, aren't I? So, we're on Dodo Doom Strict. There you go, Doom Strict. I'm running this on OpenGL as well, using the latest version of GZ Doom. So, infinite height will be a factor, but it's a 1997 map, so I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. Free look is the. Uh... Jumping and crouching is there, but I'm not going to use those. They, don't, they, they never get accidentally used. So I'll leave that. Unreal has good teleportation with a science and magic. Grand most of the the point when you're dead, but hey. Well, I've not played Unreal. That's a game I need to get to at some point. And as Draken always has reminded me a couple of times over the years, it's definitely something I need to play. But I'll get to that. And many of the first person shooters of this of the era. One day. One day. Alright. So, um... Now, you know, I don't, I don't... There is something I kind of want to talk about, but I don't want to mention it at the beginning of an Iron Man run, and I'm only talking 10 minutes to get here. I'll probably mention it afterwards, so... Yeah, um... 
if you read my last tweet, you might have an idea what I'm going to be discussing in a mo in later on. But anyway, so this is it. The inaugural Iron Camel Tournament. I have only seen the first area of the level. Just to check this was working okay, and that's it. Other than that, I do not know anything about this ward. I don't know the author. I don't know what to expect. It is Ultimate Doom. It is a 90s ward, so we can expect some anything really all i know is that dane camel said he wanted to start off on the easy front and go from there so i don't expect this to be too difficult but that doesn't necessarily mean that i will do well i don't like the iron man wing i don't have really any sort of well rival so this is basically just go in there and see how you do right so there you go let's begin and the place is episode one with a rather slightly not great looking text. And Ultraviolence, let's play. This is Warp Station. Yeah, okay, I knew about the outside area. That's it. So let's see what treats we are in for in this game, shall we? Has anyone ever played this before? And what makes it more interesting that this is an unfinished ward as well, so... You know, this is like something that was never fully completed. Is that perhaps why, uh... The secret level isn't being played. Made a secret level wasn't finished or something. Or maybe Dan Counts just doesn't want to include it. I don't know. Hmm. Don't know if that's gonna be the best idea, but screw it. Let's go into the dark. Mega armor off the bat. Real fucking neato. <laughs> Send this kind of area play out a bunch of times. Oh, that's just me. That is just me. Okay. Invisibility being used as a support power. Right. Sure. I don't really know. I guess my goal for this will just be to do as well as possible and just see how it goes from there. I mean, I guess if I had to set myself a target, it would be to get myself top of the leaderboard early on. You know, like, which so far is just getting to E1M5. So I guess that's a thing. A Cacodemon, map 1. Of a map that looks like it's E1 based. Ball Z. Top of the leaderboard. Although I don't actually know how 40 ounce did. That's the end of the level. So not too bothered about time. I might just want to go back and make sure I'm stocked on ammo. And second floor is maybe not that desperate. How's it going, Captain Glover? And Dops, good to see you both. I'm not too fussed about speed running this or anything since, you know. I don't have a time to read. So that was the first level. Pretty easy stuff, really. This is the reactor. Have you played this one before, Captain Clever or Dubs? Apparently an unfinished beta. Huh. 
<laughs> wow. Secret invisibility spear. One side. How many enemies here? Only nine. Three. Gosh, that enemy count jumped up by the triple world. E1M7. Oh, God. Okay, well, if I want to get top of the board, then I have to get it the whole way through. If possible. Only if possible. Damn. Oh, they're on top of there. That's real awkward positioning. What the fuck? Why would you put enemies up there? That is horrendous. Holy Jesus Christ. Right, that is horrible enemy placement. Not so bad for those who can mouse look, but this is 997. Because vanilla E1M7. <laughs> vanilla E1M7, you could see what was shooting you, though. I think <laughs> in software, when they had enemies in higher spots like that, you usually got to see what was attacking you. And if they did put enemies like that, they were projectile ones. So they never actually crippled you or anything. Well, this is clearly for expert players. Oh, expert people who know how to look up. Ooh. Damn, you got me there. Um. Alright. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. Never mind. So you could actually lower down. Never mind. So is this an Icarus song? I forget. He's trying to speed run this basically because I figured it would be phase though easier than title map 3. Ah, well. This probably is quite easy. It's just that speedrunning something this... Speed, speedrunning anything, you always got to run the risk of, you know, fucking up. I mean... Again, I thought I'd be alright with double impact for a bit, at least for a little while. And I made the mistake of underestimating a spectre area. And before I knew it, I was spectre chow. Oh, that really nice chink over there. I need to go get it. Get those. Get those. I could get the radiation suits. Weird. Yeah, it lowers. So never mind. I guess you never considered what would happen if the player ignored that. Ah, uh, last the thing of ultimate doom is that pinkies are a bit more of a pain than bomb to clear out due to the lack of SSG. <laughs> Next iron camera, you'll just go for surviving. Oh, a clue of a secret, but how to get it? What? Be the devil's boy. Go away. I'm already haunted by the last speck to death. Yeah, this is definitely do fantastic. It's also an unfinished quad as well. This is the second beta. So, whatever this was, this is not quite finished, apparently. I didn't want to pick up more shields. Well, that's true. Even back to Saturn X never finished. It just keeps getting updated every time something minor changes. Oh, fuck a line death slightly off. Quick, release version 26. The 
a bunch of bloody perfectionists, those. Yeah, I saw that coming. Very episode one. Delightfully devilish. Imps and shenanigans. Can you hear something else? Is there a secret in one of these walls, maybe? Wine death, like wine death! <laughs> Very punny, Mr. Clever. Yeah, yeah. Don't trust those bells. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I so we don't trust all these guys. Well, this guy certainly is packing in those monsters pretty well. Got some nice monster density going on here. Like it. I mean, this came out in 1997, so I'm not that surprised. Honestly. <sighs> yeah, this came out in 97. So I'll probably explain that pretty well, I'd say. Oh, lovely. Is there a way to get off this area? No, there is not. At least not from here. Oh my. Fidgen Splidget. I don't think we have to get that secret soul sphere. It's like someone cut E1M7 into a bunch of tiny pieces and rearranged it. <laughs> Man, all these taunting secrets, and I don't even know where to start with any of them. Oh, and I say that, I found the passageway. Unfortunately, I've also found no red suit. Unless there's one there, that's bloody convenient. Doesn't mean I have to do this whole maze in three minutes, though. Sure, that won't be a bomb. Baby. Now I get back through this maze before my red suit runs out. Nice. Oh, that is sneaky. That is that bow. Hello, Bo. So, how's it going? 
Welcome to the inaugural Iron Camel Tournament. Hmm, is there something behind it? Strange that you would bother to put some steps here. Very old. I feel. It's a bit of a strange arrangement for the finale, unless there's a secret in one of these. Oh well. Map 2. Okay. It was a reactor. It had reactive goo in it. Now, this is the level where Camel died, so let's see if I can beat the, the master. Must account again going up a little bit. Apparently, he mentioned something about instant teleport death. He was telefragged. Sounds like it. Okay. Hopefully, I'll avoid the same fate. Fancy GZ Doom effects. There was lights flickering on. Nice. Oh no, you don't. I'm not having any of that. Oh no, you don't. Also. No! Oh, there's not a secret. Or well, it might be, but I'm not, I don't need to grab this sphere. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, how nice we placed. Damn those zombie soldiers with their rat boots. Cannonball, how's it going? Yep, classic ultimate doom action. It's the third map of the inaugural Iron Camel Iron Man. This ward falls like the author cut pieces out of the default ward and just shifted it around. So like a bit like switch room, would you say, Kaido Kane? 
I think I think that was a thing that a lot of mappers did back in those days, though. When they wanted to recreate something, they, you know, before nowadays we have like a lot of wards to draw from. You know, like people can take pieces from a Sunwast or a Sunder or a Scythe or 80,000 other things. People would have had to have drawn inspiration from the uh, original Doom levels. I've played a few wards like this. You do see people of the time, they do draw. I can't grab that. This is just like a giant dig tease. Thanks. Yeah, inspiration. Dark and ominous corner indeed. Um. Um. Okay. Uh. Did I? Oh yeah, I got the red key card, didn't I? Hey there, Bandoras, how's it going? I should go back and use a card. Wait, what am I doing? I I can't use it because I can't get over there yet. You go to the other area where I can, which is here. I think Camel sounds like a reliable mode of trans <laughs> giant pussy teeth. Oh, thank you, Andorus. Mm. All right. Well, it should be a, a fun series. A bit less pressure than in the Brit Bowl, at least. I mean the other one, because I'm not in a brick bowl or anything, I can just way to survive as long as possible. That chainsaw may be useful soon. Oh, it's like a power pad or something. <laughs> Here then. Alright. I think we'd like those power ups. That was a little bit on the potential to be winning the world, so. Never mind. So those why I have to do. Whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Hey, Baron's bye. Oh fuck! The Baron's are chasing after me. Oh, that's not good. Baron's before he won eight. That's illegal. This is illegal, you know. Oh no, I'm not getting myself cornered. That was a step up in difficulty though. Definitely something a bit more vicious there. Yeah, exactly. Now you can get it. Ah. Uh. Dumped half my ammo into those guys, but at least they're out the equipment. Ah! And dead. Oh, 
Mr. Zoo, no bow. Okay, how's it going? Chuck Cunning Barons, the pinnacle of entertainment. This is the trap that killed me. Spectres trapped me, Barons finished me. Yeah, I don't blame you for being killed by that, to be honest, Dubs. That's like. That is a really sinister trap, this. It's like a bolt from the blue type deal. Not something you'd expect to see. Anyway, um. Did I make any progress from that, though? I found my. Okay, so from all of that, all I've managed to do is just find. Nothing again? You watch the camel demons, Lord. Didn't like to ask me that's quite just joint because you ruined this chaos by kill monsters. Oh, it does open. Okay. I didn't think it did. I'll just kill you. Oh, wow. Squish. This trap was hilarious consistently. <laughs> you like the gorse map. Okay then! Well, um, that is a thing. Chinese mapping! Having incorrect teleports is considered a good idea. Thanks, Nineties. Good watch choice, Cal. <laughs> I cannot believe I was just killed by a teleport frag trap. I was warned about this, but I did not think it would come from this. There is no way I will be the... <laughs> this is the kind of thing I think people need to be warned about. Because that is utterly bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, apparently there is a teleport pad that instantly kills you in this level. It is con conveniently located next to another. Entering the light freaking teleporter with no entry sign. What could go wrong? And Torres, don't act as if many people wouldn't go in there. Oh, Archie should stream this one. You could, gee, you could be part of the Iron Camel. Well, I guess that's the end of the run. Uh, I died to 90s bullshit. Yeah. I'm going to put up a big warning for that trap as well. That trap's getting warned about so that no one else falls in this stupid thing. In fact, what, in fact let me just quickly... I'm not really in the... What a stupid trap. That's really appalling. I'm just gonna quickly take a screenshot if I can figure out what it was. <sighs> I'm so disappointed. What a... Whoops. I need to put that wine. That's doing so well. But then one one stupid idea. Okay. Yeah, okay, fair enough. There's kind of a subtle clue, but seriously. Why didn't I so well mostly because I like to warn other people. Yeah, so um, this right here is a uh, a kill trap. I 
And that's how I died. I'm calling that as BS. You know, I didn't know it was a wild and doom. So that's the end of the Iron Camel. Uh, there's a really nasty teleport trap. What a shame. I was actually enjoying that one too. Guess I'll never be able to see the end. Oh well. Hope you all enjoyed it. Anything else to play tonight, sweet? What's next on my request list? Um, I mean, you could still play it. No, I don't think I want to play it. I don't feel in the mood for playing it any further. So I got I got a request list to get back to anyway. I could have seen would have been better. No, Terminator Heart, no. Stop it. All right. Uh, well, I might, I might stream again in a couple of minutes. Uh, maybe I will get back to my request list now, since I've run out of distractions, apart from the I the other Iron Man League. But, uh, hey-ho. Well, that was the inaugural Iron Camel Wad. I guess part of doing it blind is, uh, not knowing what's involved. And, uh, yeah. 90s teleport traps are bullshit. See you all later. I'm not picking L with L2 if I'm going to play something else.